was interesting about the intermittent fasting literature, well, so in terms of intermittent fasting, no benefit in terms of uh, compliance or, or lean mass conservation or weight loss compared to continuous caloric restriction. Uh, and the longest, largest studies to date shows uh, increase in cholesterol um, for people that have the same caloric restriction uh, doing alternate day uh, modified fasting. And so I would encourage people not to do it or at least uh, get their cholesterol um, checked. Um, but the time-restricted feeding, where you try to narrow your eating window to 12 hours or less, um, and so you're fasting at least half the day, what, what was that's, this was one of the research areas where there was... Th- diametrically opposed. Some studies show it's great for you. Other studies show it's terrible for you. It has all these negative metabolic consequences. And so it was my job to like, what is going on here? And it turns out it's timing. Early versus late. So when do you break the fast? You mean? So it, your, your window, right? So if your window is late, you get the negative biological consequences of eating at night um, and, and, and shifting your calories towards later in the day. 